If you want to make profit from trading crypto, stocks, or forex, you definitely need to learn this strategy. So without further ado, open a tradingview.com and choose Matic USDT and set the time frame to 15 minutes. The next step will be to click on the indicators tab and search for the first indicator, which is called engulfing candle indicator. Then you need to select this indicator. The indicator includes some green triangles and some red triangles. Whenever a green triangle appears below the candle, you can take a buy order, just like the example. And whenever a red triangle appears above the candle, it is a sell signal and you can take a sell order. but you cannot use this indicator by its own because there are many fake signals so we should get rid of these fake signals so we need to add the second indicator to our setup so click on the indicators tab and search for the second indicator which is called Pearl Trend Indicator by Lazy Bear the other name of this indicator is CTI-LB the indicator consists of a few dots above or below the candles. But first, let's access its settings and change some parameters. So in the style section, make color 0 blue and make it a little more thicker. And color 1 should be red. And also make this one a little more thicker. And get rid of color 0 and color 3 by making their opacity to 0%. The next step would be to change the smoothing period from the inputs tab from 21 to 200. Alright then, now let's go ahead and explain this in indicator a little more but before that if the video was useful so far it could be a great encouragement if you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel the cti indicator will help us a lot because this indicator help us to detect the market movement direction so when the dots of the cti are below the candles the momentum is increasing so the red triangles are invalid and we should only take the green triangles as valid signals and whenever the dots of the cti indicator are above the price action we should only take the red triangles into consideration because the market movement is decreasing so let's see some trading examples to fully understand it there's a green triangle below the candle so it is a buy signal and also the cti indicator dots are below the candle so the green triangles are valid and we can take this buy signal into consideration so this buy signal is valid this buy signal is also valid because the conditions are the same as the previous signal there's a red triangle above the candle and the cti indicator is above the candle so we can take the red triangles into consideration so this sell signal is valid and we can put our sell order at the close price of the trigger candlestick this is gold one hour time frame there's a green triangle which means a buy signal and the CTI dots are below the price action so this buy signal is valid and we can take this buy signal and also this buy signal is valid because it is above the CTI indicator Now let's check it out on gold 4 hour time frame because there is a green triangle below the candlestick and the CTI indicator is below the candles so this buy signal is also valid. Check out the next signal. The next signal is also met the conditions so this one is also valid. There's a red triangle above the candle and the CTI indicator is above the candle. So we can put this sell signal into consideration. Now let's check it out on Dow Jones 30 minute time frame. There's a red triangle above the candle and it is valid because it is below the CTI indicator. This is Dow Jones 5 minute time frame and this buy signal is valid because the CTI indicator is below the candlestick and we can see how great this CTI indicator can help us to trade with the market trend direction. Let's add the third indicator to complete the setup. So go ahead to the indicators and search for the third indicator which is called RSI or relative extreme index. This would be our final indicator. Now let's access its settings and in the style section untick the RSI based MA and change the color of RSI middle band and the type of its line to a solid line and then untick the RSI upper band, RSI lower band and RSI background fill. Alright then, that was our minor adjustments. Now you can click OK. Now let me fully explain how we use this RSI indicator in our setup. Whenever the RSI is above the 50 line, only buy signals are valid. And whenever the RSI is below the 50 line, only the sell signals are valid. Okay, the setup is finally ready now. Therefore, let's understand 
understand the trading rules. So for a buy signal to be valid, the following conditions must be met. First, a red triangle must appear below the candlestick. Second, the CTI indicator dots should be below the price action. And third, the RSI should be above the 50 line. So when all these conditions are met, our buy signal is valid and we can take the buy order. The stop loss would be just underneath the recent swing low and the great take profit would be one and a half times greater than the stop loss. Okay, now let's learn the sell positions. A signal to go short is valid only when the following conditions are met. First, a red triangle appears above the candlestick. Second, the CTI indicator must be above the candlestick. And third, the RSI should be below the 50 line. So when all these conditions are met, our sell signal is valid and we can take the sell order. Our stop loss would be slightly above the recent swing high. And a great take profit for this strategy would be 1.5 times greater than the stop loss. So now let's see some other trading examples to understand the setup completely. There's a sell signal here and the price action is below the CTI indicator but the RSI is above the 50 line. So this sell signal is not valid. And also there's a sell signal here because there's a red triangle above the candle and the CTI indicator is also above the candle but the RSI is above the 50 line. So this sell signal is also invalid and you can see how great this strategy filters out the invalid signals. Okay now you've learned the strategy. Let's proceed to the back testing to find out the real metrics behind it. So after taking 100 trades with the strategy, win rate turned out to be 65%. The profit is also pretty high and it is 134%. But bear in mind the spreads and fees are not taken into account. And I found those 100 setups in 11 weeks. By the way, if you want to learn my best strategies for trading crypto, stocks and forex, check out this video right here.